Hello everyone, in this video, I will give you a brief understanding on how to use EDA Playground for simulating Verilog codes. EDA Playground is a web application from Dollis Company that allows simulating and synthesizing System Verilog, Verilog, VHDL, C++, System C and other HDLs without any need for licensing. All you need is a web browser. So let's begin. Open your web browser and type EDA Playground. Let's click on the first link. Your EDA Playground opens up. As you can see, the EDA Playground has three panes. The design section on the right, the test pen section on the left and the log section at the bottom. Now let's see the steps to run a Verilog code using EDA Playground. For that, let's just take an example code and follow along. Example code for Verilog system Verilog. Let's select the first example that is a D flip flop. The example code has been loaded. As you can see that the Verilog code for defining the design under test is in the right section on that is your design section and the code for the test bench is in the left section the test bench section you must be wondering i am talking about verilog code but the file extensions of both these are .sv that is system verilog how is this possible well as i've already mentioned in the earlier videos system verilog is just a superset of verilog and it is back compatible with verilog as a matter of fact, system Verilog used for design is almost the same as Verilog. So you can write your Verilog codes in the .sv files. Now that your design and test bench code is ready, before you go to the run, you need to make some settings. Let's see the settings to be made. The first one is to select the language for your test bench and the design. EDA Playground provides many options. We shall be selecting system verilog verilog the next most important setting is to select a tool or simulator you can select any of the free simulators here we shall choose icaris verilog however if you want to select commercial simulators or if you want to synthesize your design you need to have an account in eda playground and to create the account in eda playground you should be having institutional email id or a corporate email id well, don't worry if you don't have either. We can select any of the free simulators and you can follow along the entire series by just using the free simulators. There are other options provided by EDA Playground which we are not using like the UVM and OVM which is a verification methodology for the test bench. We'll set it to none. We won't be using either UVM or OVM throughout the series. You can also set other libraries and options as and when needed. You can give compile time and runtime options too. We won't be doing that for now. Note these two important options. You can click on open EP Wave after run. EP Wave is a browser based waveform viewer that opens your waveforms after run of the design. Let's click that. It is a useful option. You can also download the files after run. Now that we've made the settings, we can proceed with run. As soon as you give run, it asks for login. You can log in with your Google account or your Facebook account. Or if you have an account in EDA Playground, you can log in with those credentials. I will log in with Google for now. Once you're logged in, you can see that you are in your profile and you can view all your playgrounds here by clicking on your playgrounds. Now just run this code. Since we selected open EP wave, the waveform viewer opened and the waveform for all the signals in your design has been loaded. You can also see the logs from all the dollar display and dollar monitor in your code being printed in the log section. 
another most important and useful feature is that you can rename your playgrounds and also share the link to your playground to other people. I've just given a brief overview on how to use the tool. It provides plenty more options. Please explore it by yourself. We shall be using the same tool that is the EDA playground for all the simulations throughout the series. Till then, happy learning.